Apparently, some people don't know the difference between defending yourself and being bullied. Apparently. See, a lot of people say that I'm being that I'm being a bully. And I can see where if you're just coming to the end when you're just coming into the situation not knowing me, not knowing what's really going on, I can see where you would think that, you know, I'm being that I'm being a bully. I get it. But the truth is yeah, see, you can't even pay attention. I'm You're not an idiot. a fucking bully. No, if not anything, at all. I'm the one that gets bullied. Oh, and Jesus this, this is what I find so interesting is that when I fire back, when I fire back, and I simply defend myself, I simply fucking defend myself against these fucking trolls and these haters. I'm the one that becomes the bad guy. I'm the one that becomes the, the bully. I'm the one that becomes the guy that everybody wants to hate on. Because everybody wants to think like, oh, well, he's a bully, he's this, no the fuck I'm not. I'm really not a bully. I'm really not, dude. But yet, everybody wants to make me out to be a bully. And, and I find it funny because of the fact that nobody wants to hear the fucking truth. Nobody wants to hear the goddamn truth about how I truly am being bullied. All these negative comments, I have to get rid of them. I literally have to get rid of all these negative comments. Because people want to sit there and act like, oh, he's a bully, he's this and the other. And this is what I want to know. This is what I genuinely want to know. Why is it that y'all feel I deserve to be bullied? Like, why is that? Is it because of the way I look? Like, like, what's the reason? Oh my god. Like, what, what's the reason for me being bullied? Is it because I look weird? Well, I'm sorry to say, I'm not the only motherfucker on earth that looks fucking weird, dude. I'm not the only one that looks different. Just because I look different, that doesn't give oh, me the right to go. fucking attack me. That I'm doesn't give say me the right hate to you fucking you're white. bully me. <laughs> Like, maybe if y'all would shut your mouths for two seconds mm. and listen to the fucking music that I do instead of bashing on me and be like, oh, this sucks, this sucks. Dude, I don't deserve to get bullied. I don't. Okay? If anything, I'm the motherfucker that gets bullied, but yet everybody wants to be like, oh, you're doing the bullying. You're doing the bullying. You deserve to get bullied. No, I don't. Next, um, this isn't going to be a particularly long one, but a determination has been made that your child, and it is your child, will be best served in absence or in absentia from you. The truth is you are a third generation rapist, and... A collective decision was made that the child would be best served, removed from your influence, and especially removed from your custody or oversight, whichever the case may be. Um, you are a low IQ, rage-induced, maniacal, diabolical, abominable, and unconscionable human being who can't even take care of himself, who can't even stop screaming all day to save Ed's life, right? Ed is dying, and 
you are so inconsiderate that you would rather wail away and hoot and holler and howl all day and all night over arbitrary, meaningless things, such as your fake music career, such as your stolen books, such as literally everything you do, Cyrax, is a fucking joke. It's all a fucking lie. None of it's real. Everyone laughs at you. Your entire world has been orchestrated for others' amusement. The reason that nobody buys your art or nobody buys your music is because nobody likes it. I believe that two people have bought your music over the past 10 years. And I mean, I'm not going to say that both of them are laughing at you, because that's not the case. T.G. Allen and Courtney are definitely your friends. But that's neither here nor there. Your inability to provide for yourself, much less anyone else, your inability to control yourself, your complete mental deficiency, your obvious and apparent delusions are not something that we thought would be fit or suitable for child rearing. Um, I'll tell you this, we know where the child is and they are in good hands. But unfortunately for you, Cyrex, you will never see your child. I'm going to make sure that that never happens. You will never find out where it is. A few people know where he is, but we will do our best to ensure that you will never see him in your life. We are trying to shield him from you. I don't know if there's some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy where the Wilkins continue to emulate their forefathers. And if that's the case, we don't want another rapist on our hands. We don't want another granny strangler on our hands. We don't want another blind rapist on our hands. And we're, we were all fearful that if the child were to wind up in your care or even had any awareness of who you are, who his father was, that it would be ultimately unhealthy and against their best interest. So Cyrax, uh, I hate to tell you this, but it, it is your child. Um, that much you have figured out. So I'm not sure who told you that, but good on you for putting two and two together. But unfortunately, the child is going to be better off without you. Um, in the meantime, I would suggest you stay off the internet, stop doing live streams because you are literally killing Ed. Maybe get a job so he doesn't have to go out and tear up piss-soaked mattresses all goddamn day. And uh, maybe he'll live a little bit longer, but you don't care about that. Right, Cyrax? You don't care about anything but yourself. Your own ego. Your own image, which is pretty much tarnished at this point. That's all you really care about. Providing for yourself or alleviating and reducing the stress and strain that you put on those around you. None of that has been addressed, Cyrax. None of that has been addressed. And until I see a change in your ways, you will never see your son. Never. I'm going to make sure of it that you never see your son. Um, I'm not sure who laid this out for you. Um, whoever did. Um, nice detective work. Nice sleuthing. Nice investigation. But, Cyrax, if you want to be a part of your son's life, I don't know what to tell you. You're a terrible person. You are a piece of shit. You're a fucking buffoon. I saw a little bit of your, uh, I'm not the bully, nor am I the victim. Well, pick one, Cyrax. You can't tell people not to um, whine, you know, about how you speak the truth when others speak the truth about you. Cyrax, everything that I have alleged, you have admitted to. I don't know if you remember this, but when your fake girlfriend, Strawberry, um, pulled you on and we had the no sneaky shit agreement, that you admitted that everything I'd said was true. You couldn't find a single point to dissent or disagree with or contrast because it is all 100% true. Now, is this the type of person that is a good fit for parenting? Absolutely not, Cyrax. Absolutely not, right? You can't even look after yourself. You're killing Ed. It's just not, it's not going to work, Cyrax. I hate to tell you this, but we're going to keep your son away from you. And there's uh, 
It's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Maybe change, but we all know that's never going to happen. Um, yeah, again, I don't have as much time for this stuff. Uh, I have a diminished interest as well. Uh, I just want to get this out there, Cyrax. You will never be allowed to see your son, ever, as long as I'm alive. So you have a blessed afternoon. You have a great evening. That applies to the rest of you as well. Cyrax, fuck you.